All right, we got a weapon review for Shiras and the reticle changes. The roles I'm messing with today are with Killing Wind, Elemental Sitter, and Kill Clip Tunnel Vision. From what I can tell with the reticle, right, it is pretty blocky. A lot less info is displayed, but that, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I have no trouble hitting my shots with it. You can still see people. It's not like it's completely obstructing your view because you have a huge reticle. And this, this archetype right here has a lot of aim assist, especially in the modes that it's meant for. You're supposed to use it in trials or comp or 3v3 settings or even rumble, right? So alacrity is going to proc, giving you more aim assist anyway. So the bullet mag itself will help you stay on target. And you've had this gun in your hands since way back when. I know this is an old gun. This is one of the OGs. If you've been using it, you shouldn't notice too much of a difference if you actually have used it. I have like four different ones. The Kill Click Tunnel Vision one has over 300 kills on it. This other one I rolled the other day. And it's not that bad. I do miss the other site just because of how open it is. You get more info. You can see more clearly, but the actual info displayed with the new reticle, which shows you like the value that you're getting like in air, so your reticle widens, right? So you can see how like different your AE is and how much that impacts your actual accuracy cone and such. But all in all, it's not bad. I think the people griping about it are just griping the gripe because truly the gun doesn't feel any different. It doesn't feel different at all. It honestly pops off still. And it still competes in SMG ranges against other SMGs. If you're pushing it past that, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be successful with no matter what SMG you use, even Immortal. Immortal got nerfed, and now this thing does truly outreach Immortal. And there's way better roles out there than the ones I have. But I do have a bunch of gameplay here. I have two Rumble matches, using practically the Shire as and only Shire as I. Had. I use a little bit of Chaperone here and there. I'm on Arc Titan, it's ultra cringe, but I mean, if you're using an SMG, you're probably going to be on Titan running PKs, or it, it depends on what you're running. You could run Dunes as well. Dunes is very good. You'll have the movement on both your primary and your sub using Dunes. AE bonuses and extra handling, and it's holster mod practically in the exotic for PKs, which is always really nice, but I don't think the reticle is that bad. And as you can see in the gameplay, I'm having no trouble hitting heads. Granted, if I'm missing, I'm just missing. It would be nice if we got the old reticle back, though. Or if they, what they could do with this one is, like, make it to where the reticle isn't as boldly colored, right? That way, you can see kind of, like, through it. So you don't completely lose your target. Because right now, it's just solid color that goes over your target that you're shooting at, blocking some of your view. Whereas if they had, like, the main reticle, the, the, the dot on the inside of it, solid color and the outside portion of the reticle be to where you can see more through it i think that would be a great change and keep everything else because like dynamic sway has a certain effect on it which keeps the reticle pretty tight and it looks great i just don't have that role other than that all in all this weapon is still pretty good a lot of videos i've seen people are just dogging on this gun saying like how it needs to be reverted and honestly i don't think they're going to do that and i don't think it needs that either i think if this is what is to happen with other guns like they talked about in one of the TWABs, then there should be options to customize it. Customize the clearness of it, the size of it, and I think that would be perfect. Because honestly, the reticle is really nice and clean on its own, and it displays a lot of info. You just have to read into it. AE affects the reticle. Certain perks like tunnel vision, kill clip, killing wind. All of that stuff affects the reticle. It gives you info. Give, gives you that cone that you're working with that isn't a displayed stat, which is always really nice to have in-game on your gun without having to go into your inventory. You can see it right there. You can see whether or not, oh, I probably shouldn't jump with this, especially if it's a AR or insert gun type right here. But other than that, I hope you all enjoy the video. I hope this puts some clarity on what they did with the site. Not a lot of people are talking about it truly. They're just saying it's dog. And I just wanted to say it's not really that dog. Because it's not. It's still the same gun. The center point of the reticle is still at the same center point that it was before they changed the gun. 
And yeah, have a good rest of your day, y'all. Thanks for watching. Later. Guardian, that's all I ask. Do it. One in that arena can stand against you. <laughs>